Welcome pastor. <laughs> Welcome pastor. Barikiwe sana. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huyu ni mudamu na menya ni 2013. This is the woman we get to know 2013. Mukozi wima. A servant of God. Mukozi wima. A servant of God. Who supporting a ministry? Who supports ministry? Niwe wa mbere wa supporting the ministry ya radio natangye kubigiriza kuri radio. She's the first one who supported the ministry of the radio where I used Pastor to Pastor Maria. Pastor Mary. Imana yara mukore sheje. God used her. Kujirango nangire kufugu utunga kuri radio. So that I can start to preach on radio. Imana yara mukore sheje. God used her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nangye nje nda nizera. And I are walking in faith. Niwe uri muri projet nabandi ba mama hano kutangira umushinga wa mamiliyoni menshi. She is the one in project with many mom here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Iri ni torero rye nubwo aba muri Kenya ariko hano niryo torero rye. These are church those she live in Kenya but this are church. God placed me in Redeemed Christian Church, um, Kigali, um, under the spiritual cover of our bishop, our bishop Innocent Rugangi. It's always wonderful to do the work of God, and um, I feel this is my calling uh, to be a, a support, to support the church in any way I can. That is a calling that came from God. Uh, the Holy Spirit told me to be a member of a Redeemed Christian Church and to, dev to devote all my energies and time in it, and that's what I've tried to do. Um, the Redeemed uh, Christian uh, Church um, in Kigali has grown very quickly. It has the power of the Holy Spirit and it has expanded from a very few members to a very large church now. And that's the blessings of God. I'm always amazed at how good God has been and how it grows so fast. Um, when we were here at the conference in July um, and to launch um, the Miracle Channel, uh, it's just a few months ago. And now that uh, we are back uh, at the end of the year, the church has grown in leaps and bounds. The Holy Spirit is spreading us out, giving us new members, and we are hoping to roll out in the whole of Rwanda, to start off with Kigali, that being the headquarters, and, and then roll out in the rest of the country in due course. Because uh, the more souls we can bring to the Lord, the wider our cover, the better it is for the kingdom. I grew up in a Christian home. My father, the late Honorable Gershon Kirima, was a man of God, and he was a great example to us because he built a lot of churches and helped churches in very many ways. So that is how I was brought up. And um, it is wonderful if God blesses you. You know, God puts you in this world for, among other things, a journey. And if you can in any way help his kingdom, as you do all your other things, be it business or employment, that is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. He gives us different, um, different ways to grow the kingdom or to be active in it. And if he's blessed you and you actually are able to, to partake and, and bless the kingdom, that is wonderful. God has placed me in Redeemed Gospel Church, Kigali, to under the spiritual cover of Bishop Innocent Rugangi and our first lady, Mrs. Bishop Innocent Rugangi, to do everything we can to really expand the church. Now, God spoke to us about a year or two ago, and we, the women of Redeemed Gospel Church Kigali, our God said 2018 is our year of expansion. Uh, we are very ably led by our First Lady, 
Mrs. Bishop Innocent Rugangi. We stand on this verse of the gospel, uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. And it reads, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster, plans to bring about the future you hope for. Then you will call to me, you will come and pray to me, and I will answer you. And um, as we stand on that, those verses of the gospel, uh, we the women of, of Redeemed Church Kigali uh, want to, to move to another level. We are starting a business uh, proposal and a, a business plan where we hope to empower the women of the church. Um, legally, we are going to try and set it up as a cooperative, so it has the right legal status. And in the church, we have women of different ages and we have different categories of women. So our strategy is to try and accommodate all the different categories. From the very basics, like the women who can just go and um, faci we, we facilitate them, they, f they go, they just buy food and sell in the market. But even before we get to the practical side, we are going to start with training. We are going to all of us partake in training on how to run a business. So that as you, we enter into it, we all have some basic ideas. And we have different categories because God gives you different blessings. Some women will want to be business women, actually run various sorts of business. Some women are better suited for employment. So we are hoping to set up in, in, under that cooperative some companies which we can then employ uh, the women. And depending on your gifting and what you're good at, will grow you at your level and at your pace. Um, you know, I really believe that when you have a church where the women are empowered, uh, it makes all the difference. It lifts the church, it lifts their family. So that's what we are embarking on in 2018. We are very excited about it, and we hope it's going to be a great success. Rwanda is a role model on women empowerment. It encourages women at all levels uh, to, to feel just as competent as men. Now, uh, and, and therefore, with that as a background, it's very encouraging to, to try and grow the women so they can be also financially empowered in all sorts of ways, business, maybe training, maybe a little more uh, going back to school. I'm a lawyer by profession and a businesswoman, and that has helped me um, to, to grow in the business world because then you have the basics. So Rwanda is a very good role model on empowering women so that they can get to a certain level. We encourage that and we hope it will roll out in the other East African countries. We are super excited about TV7. You know, as the church, we started off in radio and we always plan to go to t television, but God has been very gracious and we got there as a church very quickly. It's blessing people. It is doing a wonderful job. I think it's one of the few Christian channels in Rwanda, and therefore it's a role model to other, um, to other churches because by the, me by the medium of television, you are able to get through to a lot of people all at the same time. It is wonderful as uh, our TV station grows and as it rolls out out of Kigali that is able to bless the children and all sorts of Christians. We are, we are very grateful to God for that. I want to say a special thank you to my spiritual father, Bishop Innocent Rugange. His anointing and his spiritual coverage on all of us, both men and women, who are members of Redeemed Gospel Church, and the spiritual cover on my particular family, the Kirima family, is much appreciated. He's a man of God with a really great understanding of the word, and we thank God for that opportunity.